I've often heard the phrase, dress for the job you want, not for the job you have. When I started as the assistant principal at North Star Elementary two years ago, for some reason I took that to heart. <laughs> Asked to introduce myself uh, to our entire student body at our first town hall meeting of the year, a school-wide assembly, I decided to don my son's, my uh, my son's $5 Batman mask and create my own video. I thought it would be fun. Um, I didn't know, I didn't expect what followed. And that was that our students absolutely loved it. It wasn't like, oh, that's cute, or hey, that was fun. Even though it was, it became a thing. At North Star Elementary, it became the epitome of going viral. No longer was I the new guy or the unknown entity in the office to fear. I was somebody. I became Batman and the idea of him. The idea was to create a new Batman video every month for our town hall meetings to cover our school expectation, uh, behavior expectations or our cool school rules, and we've done that. But we've also had a lot of fun creating our intros and our outtakes. Um, as of now, Batman has lip synced, he has whipped and nanayed, he has been endlessly tormented by his, side, his faithful sidekick Robin, and we have also solved that all important riddle as to why kids sing Jingle Bells, Batman Smells. I began by filming students following the rules and try to get a glimpse of myself in the Batman mask. As we've created more videos, um, things have naturally evolved. Now the students wear the mask in the Batman videos and we call them our Bat Kids. Um, we receive frequent requests for students to participate in the videos and we try to accommodate as best that we can um, even more important, students have begun generating their own ideas and making suggestions, and we've incorporated them. At our most recent town hall meeting, I decided to cover our cool school rules for the auditorium. So I didn't have any footage, and it would have been really difficult to recreate a school-wide assembly, so we decided to do a live shoot. I finished making the Batman video, and I asked the students of our uh, yearbook committee to film for me. So we showed the video, we stopped when we got to the rules, and we told the students that we were going to film those who were behaving right then and there. And teachers left telling me that that was the best behaved town hall meeting we've ever had at our school. How do we create these videos? What technology is involved? And do we have Bruce Wayne's budget to finance this endeavor? Um, all we use is my phone or an iPad to do all of the student footage. All of the green screen shots are done on the photo booth app on my MacBook in my office, and I put it all together in iMovie. If you have a basic knowledge of using a movie making program, anyone can do what we've done. It is so fun to be Batman. I love that when I'm out and about, <clears throat> shopping, going out to eat, or even taking my own children to swim at our local rec center, I always hear someone shout, hey, Batman and I immediately know that it's a North Star student. I love the wonder that it has sparked in my students' imaginations. Half of my students are constantly asking me, Mr. Kelly, is it you behind the Batman mask? And then the other half knowingly tell me all the time, Mr. Kelly, I know it's you, you're Batman. <laughs> Most importantly, it has created a bond between an administrator and a student. And isn't that why we're in education isn't that why we choose to teach? To make a difference in the lives of our students for the better. To help prepare and educate the future, or the nation builders of our not so distant future. To create lasting memories, to spark joy in learning, and to make sure that every single one of our students knows that we care about them. Well, that's why I choose to don this mask. because I'm Batman. If you'd like to check out a collection of some of the Batman videos we've created at North Star Elementary, there's the link in the QR code. Thank you very much.